What is up, University Club family? Your friend, friendly food and beverage director, Josh, coming to you with another Behind the Bar episode. Today we'll be making a cocktail called the Vesper, but as it will be lovingly called in this year of 2021, uh, it will be the president. About five years ago, we started putting a cocktail on the cocktail list, naming it the president based off of that current UC president's favorite cocktail. Um, and this year with our uh, new president, Mr. Joe Benz, he has elected to choose the Vesper. Um, so what is the Vesper? Well, unlike most cocktails, its history can be traced back to 1953 in Ian Fleming's first novel um, called Casino Royale. This is based off of a Secret Service spy named uh, James Bond. He was stylish, he was sexy, he was smooth, he drove fancy cars, and all the women wanted him, all the men wanted to be him. So the scene, we find Mr. Bond sitting at a casino table, sitting at a car table, playing with a bunch of other distinguished gentlemen. Um, he asked the barman to come over, where he asked for a dry martini. The, bar the bartender then looks at him, says, okay, yeah, I can do that. Everyone around the table didn't even look up. I don't want this normal Joe Schmo just ordering a martini, who cares? In Bond fashion, he says, wait, three measures of Gordon, one of vodka, half of Kino Lille, shake it over ice with a twisted lemon. Everyone's like, what? Who's this guy? Some other guy says, you know, I'll have one of those too. Another guy says, yeah, I'll have one of those too. Everybody wants to be Bond. But how does he get away with ordering a drink sounding like a sorority girl on her way to yoga and stopping off at Starbucks? I'll have an ice venti caramel macchiato, two shots of vanilla, low fat, extra whip, extra hot, sprinkle a Splenda on top just for the crunch. How does he get away with doing that? Because he's Bond. The guy can do whatever he wants. Um, and he wants to be flashy. He wants to be, you know, different. And he doesn't break, he doesn't follow the rules. He makes them. What rules is he breaking? First, shaking martini. Nobody does that. Now it's more of a preference thing, but uh, back in the day, it was, you just didn't do it. It diluted the drink, um, made it too cold to even taste. Um, it made it cloudy, so it didn't look as good. So everyone back then was uh, stirring their cocktails that had a um, clear look. Um, you can taste the beverage a little bit more. Uh, now it's up to preference. I like it both ways, so do whatever you want at your home bar. Uh, next, what rule did you break? Why would you add flavorless alcohol water to a perfectly good gin martini? Because, again, he does what he wants and other people follow suit. He's a trendsetter. So that is where we get the original recipe for the Vesper. Now let's look at our ingredients. First, he was very specific, Gordon's Gin. Next we've got vodka. I'm going with Smirnoff, it's, it's a standard. Um, it also won our blind vodka tasting that we held here a few years ago, uh, beating out nine or 11 other vodkas. Um, so going with that. And then next we run in with a little problem. So he asked for Kino Lille, but in mid kind of 1980s, Lille decided to change their uh, kind of flavor profile and their recipe to make it more um, palatable for a uh, broader spectrum of consumers. So they took out what's called quinine, which comes from the bark of a chichona tree. Um, and it's also what's responsible for tonic water, uh, the flavor. So that's what kind of quinine tastes like. I'm choosing to go with Coqui Americano. Um, it's a aromatized wine. It's an aperitif. Um, it does have a lot of that quinine bite, and so it's more likely, more close, uh, relatable to uh, the original recipe from the book. Um, the new Lille is a little sweeter. Uh, it's great over ice in the summer with a little lemon twist, but not for this cocktail. Next, let's talk about our barware. Obviously, we're going to need a shaker, shaking tin, or sh shaking glass, uh, a jigger, because he was very specific about his uh, ratios. And again, he said three measures, so that's not three ounces. You're not drinking a five ounce beverage. Um, it's just measures, so you can do half ounce for a measure, which I'm gonna do today. Uh, then you have your strainers. And you'll see a lot of bartenders these days do a double strain. And that's kind of, if you're doing something with citrus, then it'll get out, filter out all the kind of citrus filaments. 
Um, but it originally was for to get out the kind of ice crystals. But most martini drinkers I know find a little bit of joy in that, uh, those floating ice particles. So we're not gonna use either one of those. And let's go ahead and build our drink. So we're gonna start with three parts Gordon's gin. So I'm doing one and a half ounces. There's one part vodka, so half ounce, and then half part Coke Americano. So I'm doing a uh, quarter ounce there. Shaking over icy says. And you just want to kind of shake it until your hand is cold, uh, too cold to hold it. About 15 seconds. Get out our chilled martini glass. Again, you can find any kind of cre uh, opening in between the two glasses. Hit it right there, and it should open up just nicely. Of course, here at the University Club, our martini glasses are rather, rather large, so that's what it's going to look like. And then, of course, the lemon twist. So best way to do this, just take a bar knife, cut off a little bit, and you'll see there's a kind of a white pit. Sometimes that can be bitter. So I like to trim those off. Also makes it look, looks a little better. Then I'm going to twist it, get all the esters out, rub it on the side. And there we have our Vesper, or our president. All right, now let's go ahead and taste this. But today I will not be the taste tester. I brought in a professional, and that professional is... Ben's. Joe Ben's. That was a delicious Vesper job. Thank you. See you all soon. Cheers. So thank you for tuning in. Uh, please subscribe to UCTV. We'll be bringing you lots more action um, from the club. We miss you, love you. Hope to see you again soon. Uh, cheers.